Hi everyone, this is Dr. Edwards and I am so excited that you are joining us for Social Media for Nonprofit Organizations. This is part of the Texas Social Media Research Institute's Social Media Specialist Training Program. So upon completion of this course, you will have a Social Media Training Program certificate. So this is the structure of our class and if you click Announcements, you will see the announcements for each week and for instance this is the announcement for last week it has everything from course navigation this video link will be included there along with the action items the items for each week and so for instance you needed to create a Twitter account last week and also read the syllabus access the book of ideas slash get acquainted assignment and then the social media for nonprofit organizations questionnaire. And so let's take a look at the syllabus. So as you look at the syllabus, it gives you my name and also my contact information along with my Twitter handle. Also the text for the course. And so we will actually use a free text. It is Ideal Wears Nonprofit Social Media Decision Guide for our text for the course. Yay, and it's free. Also, the purpose for the course, we have um, three goals. We have serving as a social media resource for the nonprofit community, whether that's Stephenville or beyond, um, outside of the boundaries of Stephenville and across the state of Texas, enabling working professionals to complete a program without the constraint of face-to-face -face classes, and to enable the Texas Social Media Research Institute to persist through the beginning stages of developing an accreditation program for individuals who are responsible for a nonprofit organization social media. So upon completion of this course, you will be able to describe the different kinds of social media, including Facebook, Instagram, Periscope. Yes, I did say Periscope. And so if, if you do not know a lot about Periscope, you will at the end of this course. Also, it has our skill outcomes and best practices for our class. We will use Google Documents a lot in this course, and so if you have any problems accessing Google Documents, please let me know. Also, I have Twitter-based office hours during uh, the week, and so if you have any questions or if you have a preferred time, just please let me know. And also, we have um, social media Twitter chats, and so they occur every Thursday from 8 until 9 p.m., and you will be required to participate in, in at least five of those chats. And so they're really fun. Um, I participate in the chats no matter if they are during the a football game or even... Um, even if they are on Christmas night. We actually had a Christmas night chat, but we wanted to maintain consistency no matter what. So this is our class schedule. And week one was last week, and so this is September the 14th through the 18th, and so we had the three action items that I described before. And also every week you will have an opportunity to contribute to the social, excuse me, to the social media and nonprofit book of ideas. Also, we have Module 1 starting this week, and it is the overview of tried and true new social media technologies for nonprofit orgs. And so the description of this week's module is that it provides a brief introduction to social media technologies and how nonprofit organizations utilize the, these technologies in their everyday operations and interactions for engaging their target audience, for gaining new followers, and for maximizing consumer knowledge of their organization. And to process the items that you read in this particular chapter or for this module, we have the social media book of ideas. And so I will click that as well. And this is our book of ideas. Each week you will have a prompt. And so this week, or actually this week you have a prompt focused on the module, but last week it was a prompt focused on introductions, um, tell me your organization, and also um, describe your nonprofit organization, describe your role with your nonprofit, and also contribute two to three social media goals for your nonprofit organization. And so if you have them, that's great. You can just write them here or type them here. And if you do not have them yet, this will be a good time to create some. Like how many followers would you like to reach? How many um, individuals would you like to engage? What does engagement look like for your organization? Because we will come up with a social media plan before the end of the semester.
And also we have the modules for the rest of the weeks in the course. And then the last week will be week 10, and it will end on November the 20th. And so we have our assignments and how items will be graded. The social media communication book of ideas is here, and those are 10 points per post. And so we have 10 posts or 10 assignments. Also, we have the real-time Twitter chats, and so they are worth 10 points each, and you have five to participate in. And then also we have the Texas social media chats and 10 points each five um, times to participate. And so for a total of 200 points, and then you will earn your certificate. And um, I also plan to do a series of periscopes. If you will be able to ask questions in real time. And also feel free to reach out to me at any time on Twitter or um, the email or, or what have you. I'm so excited that you're in the course. Now let's hop back over to Blackboard. And this is what the course looks like. Each of these modules coincide with the syllabus. And then also it has the syllabus link here as well. And you will see this week's assignments here. But I wanted to create this video to give you an easy way of navigating the course. And also you can go back and forth to figure out if you're clicking the right link, so on and so forth. And your grades will be available here. But aside from that, if you have any questions, please let me know. And I'm so excited that you're in the course. Welcome to the second week.